Christensen. And I'm Brandon Degner. And as always, it's a pleasure to bring you this week's upcoming events. Let's get started. As this year is beginning, we've got some exciting changes that we think students will really enjoy. Students of all grades will now be given laptops. Our school's new technology focus will allow students to submit papers online on mylegcampus.com. We sent Sawyer and Dylan out to poll the students on their opinions on this new change. John, do you feel that the laptops will be a distraction or will be beneficial in the classroom? I think it's kids that don't, didn't have the opportunity to have a computer at the house for whatever reason, can't afford it or just they don't have one, to be able to take one home and get a leg up on the competition. Hi there, Dylan Brown. Alex Arena. Charm. So do you feel laptops are beneficial or distraction in the classroom? They're a distraction. And why is that? Because people are going to be texting behind the computer screens and on Yahoo. I mean, come on. And of course, of course. they're going to be playing games while the teacher's trying to teach. Do you feel that the laptops are going to be beneficial or distraction in the classroom? I think they're beneficial because, you know, as a student and you, you go from class to class, your books get heavy in your backpack, you know, you start getting tired and stuff like that, and it, it does tear up your backpacks. And many of the textbooks are downloaded onto the computer. So. How do you feel, Haley? Although I do see Jess' points, how they could be beneficial, I feel like the bad outweighs the good. They're such a distraction because everybody would rather be on Facebook or looking at pictures on the computer or doing anything besides their work. Okay. I don't see what's the matter with the old-fashioned way of pencil and pen. Do you feel that laptops are going to be beneficial or distraction to the classroom? I think they're going to be beneficial because we can save paper and also look up on the internet our assignments and of course. email our teachers about problems that we have and the kids who don't have a voice in the classroom can have a voice on the laptops. And what about My Big Campus? What are your thoughts on that? My Big Campus is a big step up. We can have conversations with just the students and not have outsiders, which can be a problem with some things, like parents, but we can talk to our teachers and students about projects and, and get, get the assignments. assignments done. The upcoming event staff would like to uh, welcome the newest members of the teaching family, Mr. Ott, Mr. George, Mr. Taylor, Coach Queen, and Coach C. We're going to do a weekly interview with the, each one of these teachers. The first installment is with Mr. Taylor. Yes. Where are you from? Originally from Dallas. Really? Yeah. Where'd you go to college? Recently graduated from Texas A&M this past May. I'm excited and I'm already trying to make my student taggies. My sister's about to graduate from there. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how does it feel like to be, you know, the, a new member of the Harleton Monquette teaching family? It's exciting. Just started, you know, been here for two weeks now. You know, I've been having lots of fun with my students. You know, by the end of this year, they said they're going to make me a true East Texan. So they're going to take me fishing and hunting and all that. So I'm looking forward to it. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We'd also like to introduce this year's class officers. Football season is underway, and those Wildcats started with a bang, beating James Bowie 22 to 13. The victory did not come without a loss, however, as senior Austin Stringfellow was injured during the game. Here's Brooks Lloyd with an interview of the fallen Wildcat. What exactly is your injury? When I went to the ER, they told me I had tuberal transverse processes, which is a little bone off the side of your vertebrae. I went to the specialist yesterday, and he told me that he couldn't tell if there was any fractures, and then I'm going to be out. He's he's got another checkout for me, checkup for me next Thursday, and if it's still hurting, he's going to do more X-rays. All right. Well, are you doing any like recovery exercises? No, I'm just kind of wobbling around, <laughs> place to place. So when are you uh, when are you going to be back for football? Hopefully next week. If there's no doesn't show any fractures or breaks. Huh? I'm glad. Can't wait to see them back on the field. On Friday, the Wildcats take on the Winona Wildcats at home at 
while the JV Wildcats face their junior varsity in Winona on Thursday. The varsity, junior varsity, and junior high cross country teams have been working hard for their first uh, meet this Saturday in Spring Hill and Lear Park. The audio visual class is behind a new segment entitled Our School. Here's Abby to fill you in with more information. For the first week of audiovisual, we were assigned a project where we were to uh, make a video about something that's important to us in our town or our school. We picked to focus on our positive teachers, and our video is entitled, Positivity is the Best Policy. This is Harleton High School, home of the most encouraging and positive teachers in East Texas. Okay, so let's go back to right there, because Allison, I know that you can do this. You're a wonderful student. In high school, even when we're difficult to deal with, our teachers are always positive and encouraging and always wish us to do our best. This shows since we have been exemplary since 1997. There will be a blood drive on September 7th. Come donate blood and help save a life. And get out of class. Speaking of getting out of class, Brandon, we're getting out for Labor Day this Monday. But get ready, students. The first batch of progress reports come out this Friday. Juniors will need to turn in their senior ring orders, and seniors will need to turn in their invitation and cap and gown orders this week. From all of us on the audiovisual and upcoming events team, we're excited about this year, and we hope you'll enjoy the new changes we're doing to the news videos. Thank you for watching. We ride at dawn. <laughs>